1.4 petrol units available. Of course, there is a 1.4 diesel. The first thing that we'll notice is that the engine is mounted low down, so that's a better center of gravity and ideal be better for handling as well. Now, the unit that we've got here is a 16 valve twin cam unit. It's part of Kia's Gamma family. Interestingly, the exhaust manifold is actually mounted from the back here as opposed to where we used to see it always coming forward here. Important that the clutch is down for the Kia to start, otherwise it will not. Just changing up into fifth gear, doing 50 at two and a half thousand revs. And it's uh, in fact sixth gear now. It's a really good driving position. Plenty of room for my clutch foot here that's resting. And um, engine's ticking over nicely. I'm not so sure about some of the styling elements here. Maybe they've Tried a bit too hard. Steering feel for an electrically operated is seems to be more feel than the uh, Kia Picanto, which is a little bit feels a bit loose. Now this is in a bit of a dippy A road here, and the suspension is it's soaking up the bumps. It really is a different class to the previous car, as with the Picanto. Airbags of six that are standard. to fire three cylinder in a car of this size is quite something and to have a 1.1 diesel is even something else. Now after 10 minutes of driving this car on an A-Road, this is what I found out. Now on initial impressions I thought the driving position was fine, but on further inspection the pedals are slightly offset in relation to the seat. So my foot which is now on the clutch is actually going slightly to the right, that's the first thing. Secondly, when working the car through the six gears the engine does sound a bit hoarse and remembering this is a 1.4 petrol engine and also on undulating surfaces it does feel a little bit light on the front so I think a 1.4 diesel for me would be a better option so I'd like to try that next to compare. The back hatch is at quite a gentle angle but that reduces the visibility but the car, in a nutshell, is in a different league to the previous car. It really puts Kia up there with more expensive marks.